So life after Paul Lambert begins here. Progress to the FA Cup quarter-finals would be a good start. The romance of the Cup on Valentine's weekend here at Villa Park. Blackpool beaten, Bournemouth brushed aside. Will the villains be fantastic against the Foxes of Leicester City? With a place in the quarter-finals up for grabs. It's the third time we've played them in 10 weeks, Froggy, so we know all about them. But who have you picked out from the opposition ranks? The two old heads of the side, you know, the two senior statesmen, Esteban Cambiasso and Mark Swartzer. I mean, Cambiasso, um, we all know about his qualities. The team he's played for, he's been, uh, you know, a really experienced head in the team this year. Excellent. He's never been the quickest, never been the most mobile in the world, but at his age it doesn't really matter because he was never quick in his day. Mm. But what he does, he keeps the ball, retains possession really, really well. But it's that experience that he, he exudes to all the players around him. Same with this guy. Really important signing for, for Nigel Pearson because Casper Schmeichel had been out injured. He had Ben Hamer, uh, but I think he needed somebody really experienced behind the defence that have leaked goals throughout the course of the season. And, you know, he's got great experience. Hadn't played a great deal whilst uh, he was at Chelsea, but this is a real opportunity, probably his final swan song in, in the Premier League and maybe his, his last opportunity to get to a, a cup final too. Oh, so dependable. Can you believe there's someone still playing who's older than you? <laughs> no, actually, I can't. No, 42 <laughs> years. It just shows you how the game's changed, though, doesn't it, with, with yeah. the goalkeeper. Although, saying that, I do remember actually playing in a, a team with Steve Grizovic, who I think he was about 103 <laughs> when he was still playing. So, um, yeah, he's, 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 he's a real experienced campaigner, Mark Swartzer. Um, and, and to have that experience in behind the defence is very settling. From Villa's point of view, though, time to look forward. The manager's departed. Yeah, I mean, it's been a, it's been a really difficult few weeks for everybody concerned at the club. You know, mm. the players, fans, everybody, you know, who, who loves the football club. But a new start. You have to look at it as a new beginning. And what an opportunity to, to get the bandwagon rolling again. Um, and to get some confidence, because we need to go into these final 13 league games with some sort of confidence. And against the Leicester side, it would be no easy game. They, they, even though they are uh, rock bottom of the Premier League table, they've been playing really well, Jack. They mm. just haven't had any. Generally, whenever I've seen them, they've had no look at all. I think Nigel Pearson must have run over a black cat <laughs> early in the season because you know, they've created chance after chance and just haven't, simply haven't taken them. Um, so it will be a tough game. But we've done well at home in the cup tie so far. And what an opportunity to get through and perhaps look, look ahead to, to maybe get into a, an FA Cup final. There is, there is a real potential route to Wembley here. Well, I'm looking as well to the big figures at our football club. You know, the ones mm. that, that, have, that are the big names, the ones that have got big reputations. I mean, Ron Vlaar, best player in the World Cup for me. Mm. Christian Benteke, one of the best young strikers in Europe, hasn't showed it the last few weeks. Fabian Delph signed a brand new deal, England international. That's the spine of our team. Mm. I think we'll be looking for inspiration from those sort of players to lead the team through this really, really difficult patch now. But nothing better can be started by winning this FA Cup tie and giving the fans something to dream about because they've been so long suffering. They've been right behind the, the players and, and, the, and the squad. And I think it's time the players give something for the fans to shout about. You've always got to hope there's good times around the corner. That's the, that's, the, uh, that's the idea. Much more analysis over on AVTV. Two wins from a Wembley appearance. Join us this Sunday lunchtime. Andy Blair with me for commentary. <laughs>